Well, hello and welcome to another Switzer Daily Update. And we've had a few problems with our Zoom technology, so we're doing it on a mobile phone today. And the story I want to concentrate on first up is the AFR headline, which said, Retail slot won't stop ninth straight interest rate rise. So yesterday we got a very big retail sales fall of 3.9% in December. Now remember, this is the Christmas month and it wasn't a great result. Now, many people will have thought, well, that could scare the Reserve Bank to not actually raise interest rates next week. But the AFR says, no, no, um, expect another interest rate rise. And they, I think they're right. The Reserve Bank will give us another rise and it won't be 0.5%, it's more likely to be 0.25% because of that big fall in retail in December. But if this is actually proved to be a correct fall, and there's a question mark over the caliber of this number, if it is, I think you can rule out the story from yesterday, which said there were four more interest rate rises due to happen this year. The Reserve Bank will be very, very cautious about raising interest rates too rapidly if this December number proves to be correct. Now, why wouldn't it be correct? Well, the Black Friday sales in November are now taking sales out of December. So the December figure may well be a bit dodgy. So we have to wait to see what happens in January to work out whether these interest rate rises, eight in a row from the RBA, whether they will actually, whether they are actually going to hurt the economy like that December retail number. So in a sense, the Reserve Bank is going to be trying to work out whether its interest rate rising policy is slowing down the economy and therefore bringing inflation down. If that's the case, you can rule out four more interest rate rises. If it's not the case, there's a possibility there'll be four more interest rate rises. So uh, one thing I will throw in that private sector credit growth, that's the private sector getting loans, that really rose by a really small amount. And business loans also are, are, are falling as well. And that's a sign that the economy is being affected. Now, let's go look at what happened to the stock market overnight. Yanks up again, Dow Jones up 1%, S&P 500 up 1.46%, and the Nasdaq up 1.67%. Now, this is before the Federal Reserve makes a big decision on interest rates and tells us what they're thinking overnight. So tomorrow could be either a good day for stocks or bad day, depending on what the Federal Reserve says. But I don't care about what the Federal Reserve says, because I think 2023 is going to be a good year for stocks. And I've said this a number of times. And I've got a fantastic piece of information today from a guy who I interviewed when I took my old Sky Business program to Wall Street about six or seven years ago. His name is Sam Stovall, one of the best market historians in the USA. And what Sam pointed out was uh, on CNBC this morning is that when you get a really fantastic January rise of the stock market, it's called the, the January effect, when it's good, the old saying goes, so goes January, so goes the year. And this has rung true 87% of the time. That's a really big strike rate. And we know this January is one, one of the best Januaries in a long, long time. He also made this point as well. He said, markets rise an average of 14% following a down year. And we've had a down year on the US, a serious down year on the US in 2022. Putting it all together, two good reasons for the US stock market to go up this year. One, of course, is the January effect, and the other is after a down year, there's a nice rebound. Sam Stovall has a very positive outlook, and he's not the kind of person who's easily made positive. He lets history be his guide. I hope he's right.